What's your way? You're going to video record? I'm video. Come on. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Welcome to Frauditor Schmauditor, where you will find tales of the stupid. A big thanks to all my subscribers for their support and comments. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please consider becoming a part of the Frauditor Schmauditor family by clicking like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. If you have any suggestions or ideas on how I can make things more interesting, please do let me know. This video features the Frauditor, Mr. Puerto Rico, frauditing a post office in Anchorage, Alaska. It's quite an entertaining video, so watch through till the end and let me know your thoughts. And here's the star of this video. Excuse me. You can't take pictures here. Since when? You can't. You don't You're tell not me. allowed to take my picture. You don't tell me what to do. I have the right to take pictures. As long as I don't interfere with you guys. Hmm. Just 15 seconds into the post office and already we have Frauditor Boy upsetting people. Honestly, do Frauditors ever even consider why places do not allow filming in their locations? Let me give you a scenario. You're at an ice cream truck in a park with your kids, buying them ice cream. And you want to pay with your credit card. So far, so good. Now, imagine you are surrounded by a bunch of people with cameras. Would that anger you, that they could possibly record your information? What's astonishing is that he says, I have the right to take pictures, as long as I don't interfere with you guys. Interfere with you guys. Those are the words frauditors say, but never realize that they are interfering with the operations of the business. If only they could hear themselves. Then again, maybe this is all a farce. Maybe they know that they are interfering, but since it gets them some sort of payout, they probably do their frauditing with complete knowledge. What do you guys think? Fast forward half a minute. Hi. Hello. I'm Kara. Are you the manager? I am not the manager. I am the uh, supervisor. So I'm just uh, Hi. inquiring as to what you're doing. Is the, it, has the rules changed when it comes to video recording in the lobby? Um, the rules have not changed. They've been consistent um, as far as I know. But I mean, we, yeah, of course, my uh, clerks are uncomfortable with being filmed though. So, um, and I can't ask them to perform their duties, you know, under the circumstances. So is there any way that you consider stopping? What does frauditor boy mean? Have the rules changed? Or the way he puts it, has the rules changed? Whether the answer is yes or no is probably immaterial. What I think he wants to know is, are there rules in place that prohibit employees from feeling uncomfortable? And the answer to that is obvious, right? Rules or laws cannot govern how a person feels. Every person has a right to their own emotions. What really boggles the mind is, these frauditors all stake their activity on whether an institution respects their right to record in public. So, if the staff of an institution does not allow them to record, then isn't the purpose of their recording solved? Shouldn't they give this institution their fail and then exit the institution instead of continuing to argue? Or, is their purpose to push the issue as far as they can until they get something so they can file a lawsuit and get some go away money? I am willing to bet it is the latter. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Employees don't come here to, 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 be, to, to, to be pampered by or, anybody. Or harassed. So, if they so do you consider harassed, video recording harassing? They feel that way, so I'm oh. so sorry. So, yeah, so they So video recording is harassing, is that what you're saying? Not what I'm saying, if somebody's, so I can't tell you what you're feeling, we can't tell the clerks that they don't feel harassed. The postmaster has already approved video recording in lobbies, foyers, corridors, and auditoriums. Mm -hmm. No, the postmaster has not. If frauditors would only read poster 7 correctly, it says under the section, photographs for news, advertising, or commercial purposes, except 
where prohibited by official signs or security force personnel or other authorized personnel or a federal court order or rule. Other photographs may be taken only with the permission of the postmaster or installation head. This says that you have to ask for permission before photographing inside the post office from anyone who is authorized personnel, meaning staff, security, and the postmaster. The next picture says that all persons in and on property shall comply with official signs of a prohibitory or a directory nature and with the directions of security force personnel or other authorized individuals. And finally, this section says, disorderly conduct which tends to otherwise impede or disturb the public or employees in the performance of their duties, or which otherwise impedes or disturbs the general public in transacting business or obtaining the services provided on postal service property, is prohibited. And taking photographs or recording the patrons and the staff is definitely disruptive if the patrons or staff is telling the frauditor to stop recording. Even though the rules are clearly stated, is anyone surprised that frauditors do not comply? What should be done to get them into compliance? What are your suggestions? What would you do? Let me know. Regular clerks can't just change the whole rules around here. You, you understand? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we do but... have a right the same way that you guys have the right to video record everybody that comes in here. We have the right to video record as well, as long as I don't interfere with the business. So as long as I'm not creating a disturbance or anything like that, your clerk's feelings, with all due respect, I'm just doing a job as a photographer right now. There's no friends in business. So I'm working, you guys are working. There's a thin line that neither of us can cross. She does, I, I've, I already have approval to, to be here. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's written. It's actually on the wall. No, frauditor boy. Just because you want to read only the parts of Poster 7 that fit your narrative, you cannot discard the rest of what Poster 7 says. I would think that the staff needs to be better informed about the entirety of Poster 7 because they unfortunately did not envision that there would be frauditors entering their workplaces, just like the writers of the Constitution didn't think that someday people would become frauditors. It's right there on the wall, I believe. Yeah, but nobody can tell another person that they're not harassed or that they have... Well, harassing is a crime. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not yes. I'm not committing a crime. Um, it's going to be subjective. No, yes, no, I'm... Harassment is not the... Just, uh, you're, you're, as you're, defined. Well, I encourage you to maybe call the postal inspector mm -hmm. and, and, and they can inform you guys that we have the right to be no, here. you do. You do. I mean, it's not... It's not I do have the right, correct? Yes. Correct. All right. But it so, is not, it's so if I have the right, that means I'm not breaking the law or harassing anybody. Not only I have the right, but you guys have the customer's uh, bill of rights over here at the at the post office. You have the customer's bill of rights. Also, as a postal employee, you take an oath to protect the Constitution in the United States when you become a uh, postal employee. Yes. I know everything about your policies. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to create drama or anything, but. Mm -hmm. You can't give me wrong information, ma'am. No, no, I'm just telling you that my clerks feel harassed. Well, no, so no one is harassing anybody. They can feel however they, they want. They can feel however they want. Yes, if, but if, if they're... If you can't tell them they're not harassed. They're not being harassed. They that's, are, that's, they feel that way, so that's th where there's... Well, they feel they they, they have they have the confusion of what they, they don't know what harass harassment means mm -hmm. because when you're harassing somebody, that means that you're breaking the law, you're disturbing their peace. I'm just video recording uh, allowed by law and allowed by the Constitution and allowed by the post office. So if they don't feel comfortable video re uh, being at the post office, I guess it's the, it's the wrong place of employment because you can't just be like, hey, I don't like this to, to the boss and be like, I'm not working, especially if the rules already say that, ma'am. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. I'm not trying to create a problem or anything, but you need to, okay, we, we both have to respect. No, you guys are. No, you're creating a problem. No. So, frauditor boy's actions do make the staff and the patrons feel uncomfortable. Whether intended or not, the situation is not pleasant. And that is not a problem? Considering what creates the tension, is it not clear that the frauditor is causing the problem? Do all of you come to the same conclusion? Or am I missing something? Give me your thoughts. Fast forward three minutes of Frauditor Boy telling his viewers his version of Poster 7. 
how what he is doing is perfectly legal, how his causing the post office to stop business is not disrupting anything. Of course, as I have shown you earlier, Poster 7 definitely prohibits what this guy is doing. But frauditors will be frauditors. What's your way you video recording? I'm You're video. Come on. Touch me. You touch, me. Bitch, touch, me. Here, touch, me. touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Really? Bitch. I'm a journalist. I'm a journalist. Go. I'm going to call the police. You just threatened oh, me. Ass, you just threatened to kill me. You, you just threatened to kill me. No, you're not. No, you're not. Yo. Yo, what the fuck is your problem, you psycho? Yep, that's right, frauditor boy. Be a bully to the staff, who are not allowed to tell you what they think of you. But meet up with someone who will not stand for your BS and run away quickly. I'm not getting out of here. Oh, you, oh, wow. Oh, I'm I've done nothing to you. Yeah, I will do something. I've done nothing to you. No, I'm not. I'm working. Get the fuck out of here, bro, bro. Get away from me, bro. Get, the fuck out get of away here. from me, bro. Get away from me, bro. Get away from me. Get away from me. Bro, get away from me. Bro, get away from me. Be a fucking man, dude. I'm not doing anything to you. You're a bitch ass punk. I'm not doing anything to you. I'm not doing anything on you. You little punk ass bitch. You ain't doing shit. I'll fucking kill you, dude. Oh, you're gonna kill me, okay? I will fucking beat you to a bitch. Get a cop over here. He'll let me beat your ass. Bro, get away from me. 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 Fast forward 30 seconds of Frauditor boy aimlessly walking around. KKM262. It's good that Frauditor Boy can run fast. But frauditors do need to understand one thing. They can bring their First Amendment fraud it and end up facing an angry patron's Second Amendment right. The rest of the video is a Frauditor Boy running for cover and hiding in fear. And then, predictably, he calls the cops to try and press charges on the other guy. Anyways, that's it for this one. If you liked this video and got some entertainment value, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notifications of new videos. And of course, feel free to comment your thoughts. See you on the next one.